Hello, welcome to the Price Academy Bite Size History Videos. This video is introducing Henry VII, the first Tudor King of England. Henry VII was the founder of the Tudor dynasty and the father of King Henry VIII and is known for being a shrewd king who gathered huge wealth for the crown. Henry VII was born on the 20th of January 1457 at Pembroke Castle in Wales. His mother was Margaret Beaufort and his father was Edmund Tudor. Henry was born during the War of the Roses and had a turbulent childhood. His father died in captivity months before he was born and his mother was only 13 at the time of his birth. Henry as a young child was taken into protection by his uncle Jasper Tudor. He and Jasper went to Brittany in 1471 for safety. Henry would eventually become the one to end the War of the Roses on the 22nd of August 1485 at the Battle of Bosworth Field, defeating Richard III's Yorkist army. With Richard III dead, Henry became the King of England. Henry VII's first task was to secure his position and it did so by marrying Elizabeth of York in 1486. Elizabeth was the elder daughter of Edward IV. Elizabeth was also the elder sister of the princes in the tower who mysteriously disappeared under their uncle Richard's care. Henry and Elizabeth are supposed to have had a happy marriage. Here is their wedding bed that was recently discovered. Elizabeth gave birth to their first son, Arthur, in September 1486. The couple had eight children but only four survived past childhood, Arthur, Henry, Margaret and Mary. Henry VIII was born here at Greenwich Palace which at the time was called Placentia Palace. Henry's reign was troubled by revolts involving pretenders to the throne like Perkin Warbeck and Lambert Simnel. The first imposter was a junior son called Lambert Simnel who claimed he was the Earl of Warwick the cousin of Elizabeth. However, Edward was already safely locked up in the Tower of London. Simnel and his supporters were beaten at the Battle of East Stoke on the 16th of June 1487 and the imposter was then made to work in the palace kitchens. The second and more serious challenge came from Perkin Warbeck who claimed to be Richard Duke of York. He was Elizabeth's brother. Warbeck was defeated in battle in Cornwall in October 1497 and subsequently confessed his claims were nonsense. He was executed in 1499. As a result of all the troubles that Henry faced, he formed a personal bodyguard from his followers known as the Yeoman of the Guard in 1485. Henry strengthened the power of the monarchy by using traditional methods of government to tighten royal administration and increase revenues. Royal income rose from an annual average of £52,000 to £142,000 by the end of his reign. It is believed the nursery rhyme, Sing a Song of Sixpence, is inspired by Henry's frugal ways. Henry also secured a royal marriage for the heir to the Tudor dynasty, Prince Arthur. Arthur married Catherine of Aragon in 1501, who was the daughter of the King of Spain, Ferdinand and Isabella of Castile. However, Arthur died on the 2nd of April 1502 of a sweating sickness. The following year, Elizabeth of York died on the 11th of February after giving birth to their eighth child, a daughter, named Catherine. After Elizabeth's death, Henry did consider marrying Catherine of Aragon himself to prevent her dowry being paid back to her father, but Catherine had other ideas and so did Henry the seventh son, Henry Tudor. As we know, they would eventually marry when he became King Henry VIII. Henry also organised the marriage of his daughter Margaret to King James IV of Scotland which took place on the 8th of August 1503. Henry VII died on the 21st of April 1509 at Richmond Palace. He died of TB. Henry was buried in Westminster Abbey next to his wife Elizabeth of York. Don't 
Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. You can follow me at Twitter at Little Miss History 81 at TanyaAlex38.